Good morning, Howard. This is Surviving Essentials, and uh, we're doing an interview with Howard Godfrey. Howard, um, there's some questions that we would like to ask you. Um, where are you located? In the Sierra Nevada Mountains of Northern California. What is the name of your blog and you, your URL? Preparedness Advice Blog, and the URL, URL is preparednessadvice.com. What inspired you to write books on preparedness? I've been involved in preparedness for many, many years, and it's a subject that's held a great interest to me, and I have knowledge that I felt I could share with other people. How, why, and when did you become interested in preparedness and helping others through your writing? Well, because I was involved, was partially raised in a third world country, and my parents were very much children of the Depression and World War II, my family has been interested in preparedness for many years, so I've done it all my life. What is your educational background? My educational background, I have some college. I have um, training in law enforcement and fire department, as well as having served in the military. Um, and how would you describe the primary mission of your blogging? The primary mission of my blogging is to share information with people that can benefit them in times of emergency. What would you consider to be the five most important things that preppers must have at hand when a sudden and major disaster such as an earthquake or tornado strikes their location? Food, water, shelter, medical, and self-defense. Why would you rank as a, what would you rank as the number one most likely threat today to life as we know it in the United States? That would be a potential economic disaster. I think that we could go into a major depression without too much effort. What would you say is the most often asked question you receive from your blog audience and what is the strangest or funniest thing anyone has ever asked? We get regular questions on shelf life of food. That's a major concern to people and probably the most common question. As far as funny or unusual questions, just the other day we had a 50-year-old woman ask how to cook beans. She had never cooked beans from scratch in her life, always open to can. I've noticed that you occasionally recommend certain types of products and product brands in your blog. Undoubtedly you've been asked this before, but do you try those products and brands out yourself before writing a review and giving your approval? Yes, I do. I go ahead and play with the items, I work with them, I don't post anything and recommend anything that I do not feel will function adequately to do the job. Some of the advice you give on your blog has to do with garden-grown foods and home preservation of these foods, basically homesteading ideas. What kinds of foods and food storage methods would you suggest to an urban condo dweller who doesn't have access to a garden plot and has to purchase everything? Well, first of all, we don't particularly have a large garden, but if we can, and, and uh, dry foods all the time. You can get them in farmers markets, friends, neighbors, you can glean fruit. There's always ways to get fruit and vegetables. So you can still go ahead and use those preserving methods. But in addition to that, if you're limited on space and time, you can go ahead and buy the long-term storage foods, such as Ready Reserve, uh, and things of that nature. Howard, could you describe your blog for us? My blog is designed to help people with all aspects of emergency preparedness, including food, water, uh, medical, and uh, shelter, the various, all the various aspects. Could you also tell us a little bit about your book of preparedness and more? Yeah, my book is very similar. My book is written for someone from a beginner to an advanced. It covers information on all the different aspects of preparedness. It covers food, water, shelter, it covers heat, light, it covers, explains about uh, junk silver, it covers all different areas. If a, a person brand new to the world of preparedness were to ask what books by other authors would you suggest reading, what are your top three suggestions? I would recommend Jim Rawls's book, How to Survive the End of the World as We Know It. I would recommend Cody Lungan's book, When All Hell Breaks Loose. I would recommend a book put out by the Hesperian Society, Where There Is No Doctor. Um, in addition to those, there's many other good books. Is there anything else you would like to briefly add about preparedness that you haven't here? 
I would just add that it, preparedness is, a lot of people are overwhelmed by the whole idea and it's kind of like the old joke, you know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? And so just take it step at a time when you do it and you can get through it. And lastly, Howard, for everyone who may be interested in your special advice and want to learn more, can you interact with, uh, with, uh, with you through Facebook and Twitter? If so, may we provide those links for the, our audience? Yeah, I have a preparedness advice site on Twitter that you can get to. Um, go to Twitter through Twitter. Just do a search under preparedness advice. And the Facebook, I don't currently have a site up on that, but I will in the near future that people can access. You can also email me direct at preparednessadvice at gmail com, and I will answer questions for you. Thank you for agreeing to participate in our Surviving Essentials interview today. Well, thank you for having me.